Hi, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a short tour of the library catalog to find an ebook. The SMC website may look slightly different when you go to do your search because we are being redesigned. However, the search itself should remain the same. From the school homepage, mouse over student support and click on the library. From there, you have a couple of options. When you're looking for ebooks, you can search in databases for databases that are primarily ebooks. You can search library resources, which include ebooks. You can search the library online catalog, which is primarily ebooks. Or you can search on OneSearch, which is ebooks and everything else that we might subscribe to or own or find on the web that looks interesting. This is probably the most complex way to find them. So I want to show you that first because people tend to see this big search field and go, oh, it's just like Google. I'll use that. This is not Google. So when you go into OneSearch, if say you're interested in global warming, when you search for that, it opens up our catalog and it gives you lots of options. The first thing is it defaults to articles, books, and more. Other options that are useful when the library is open are textbooks on reserve and books and videos specifically owned and kept at the SMC library. Today we're looking for ebooks, so we're going to need to take this 223,000 hits and narrow it down to something useful. Not just take the first one we find, but try to find the best ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say over here on the left hand side, I need to refine my results. I am going to look for stuff that is available online. Then I'm not going to look here for availability. Instead, I'm going to look down here for format and under format, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to say, give me books. So in just two clicks. I've taken it from over 220,000 hits to 560. It's still many too many, so I want to refine it a little bit further. I'll go down here perhaps and I'll say I want the publication date to be maybe the last 10 years or so. I click refine to apply that filter and it cuts it in half. Now this is an international collection and I want to make sure that it's in English so both I and my instructor can read it. So I'll also go down and I'll tell it I want the language to be in English. That didn't take too many off, just a few. So I might say, okay, there's just too many. So I'm going to click under subject and I'm going to use subject terms, which are specifically given to works by professional librarians saying this work is specifically about this subject. And those subject terms are then standardized so that books on the same topic are clustered together. So I might go through here and I say, oh yeah, global warming specifically. Apply my filters. So in four clicks, I've taken it from over 230,000 down to 37. They will be only books, not journal articles. They'll be in the last 10 years. They'll be available online unlocked so I can actually read them. They'll be in English and they'll be specifically on the topic of global warming. So now I can scroll through and I can take a look and see what I see. This one looks kind of interesting. It says global warming. See all versions. There's more than one version. So I want to click on that and see what I find. And this tells me there's a 2013 and a 2008. So I'm going to go with the 2013 and it has two links. One says available at main stacks, which means it's in the library and it gives me a call number. If it gives me a call number, it's in print, which means if the library is closed, I cannot access it. So if I want an ebook, I'm going to click on available online. When I click on that, it allows me to link out to the full text of that book. And at that point, it opens a new tab. And it gives me all of the information about this book and a link to it.
Now there's another video about how to use Opposing Viewpoints database, so I'm not going to go into great depth here, but I wanted to show you how to get to it. Going back to my original catalog search, I have other options as well. I can find out about the book here. Contents often describe what's in it and are many times the titles of chapters or essays within the book. And it'll even tell me a little bit about the series. In this case, the current controversy series goes into pro-con discussions <coughs> excuse me, about topics of interest that may be considered co controversial. Up here at the top, it allows me to print it, cite it, or email about the book. Now this email, don't be confused. This will not email you the book. This just emails you the information from the catalog. In order to actually email part of the book, you have to go to the database that holds that book. If I want to do a citation for this book, I click on Citation, and there are some things to keep in mind. It gives you options. MLA, APA, Chicago, MLA 8th, which is the most current edition. I want to point something out that looks a little strange. This is an ebook, but here it says it's in print. It's using the MLA 7th edition. I highly recommend, and in fact in Library 1 I require, that you use the MLA 8th edition. Watch the citation when I click this from 7th to 8th edition. Suddenly it's much shorter. The place of publication is gone, and so is that word print at the end. It looks okay, but there are some problems. There's an extra space after the title. It's not in Times New Roman font size 12. So if you copy this citation and you paste it in your paper or in your works cited, fix it before you turn it in and use the template given to you by your instructor in order to fix it. If you'd like to find more books on the same topic, you simply close the pop-up and go back to your results. If you have any questions on the library homepage, not letting me go back. Helpful. Well, this is where the back arrow comes in handy. It's always fun when you go through a redesign and your links still have to catch up with you. On the library homepage, there is Ask a Librarian, 24-7 reference help. If you get stuck, you can open up a second tab so you don't lose your search. Here's my search result. Here's my library homepage, and you can ask a librarian for help at any time, 24-7. Good luck with your research. Be well.